quieting down our minds to listen to the still small voice of the Holy Spirit speaking to you. And it is going to be a daily struggle where our goal is to be victorious. And we will be victorious. You do your part and God will do his part. And everyone will get what's coming to them, the good, the bad, the ugly. And every time you listen to what the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, you shall be blessed, rewarded. Not only in this life, but the life to come. And all those wonderful rewards that are waiting for us in this third world age and heaven age. Let us, dear ladies and gentlemen, be people who are able to sort out the voice of the Holy Spirit from all the competing voices. God is talking to us. The devil is talking to us. Our carnal nature is talking to us. The Bible gives us practical exegetical principles for discerning the voice of God spoken by the Holy Spirit, uh, the voice of God spoken by the Holy Spirit of God. Let's take a look at Isaiah 8.20. Isaiah is written to the house of Israel. Isaiah 8.20. To the law and testimony, it they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light. If the voices that are talking to us do not line up with God's moral and civil law and the testimony of the Word of God then those voices are not speaking this word, this word being the word of God. Why? It is because there shall be no mourning for them. All are in darkness who do not speak by an appeal to the revealed word of God. We must not confuse 
what the Holy Spirit is trying to speak. We must not con uh, confuse with the Holy Spirit. We must not confuse the Holy Spirit speaking uh, uh, speaking to us by. We must, or I should say, we must not let let the devil. The flesh in the world confuse us, making us think that that is the voice of the Holy Spirit. The voice of the Holy Spirit must line up with God's moral, civil law, and the testimony of His. <clears throat> His word. Test of the testimony of the light of creation, the testimony of the light of conscience, the testimony of special revelation. We must strive, like I said, to distinguish between those competing voices, so to speak. Sadly, I recall three of my former Bible students from the late 90s early 21st century they had embraced some heretical teachings which they assured me were directly from the Holy Spirit unfortunately they were not able to persuade be persuaded by God's word, the Bible, that these are false doctrines and they continue to hold these demonic teachings falsely attributing them to the Holy Spirit's voice speaking directly to them despite the fact that the Bible said otherwise. The Bible Special Revelation, God's Holy Word is always the final arbitrator of truth. The voice of God's Holy Spirit will always line up with the revealed scriptures. Let's take a look at Matthew chapter 10. 19 through 20. Matthew written to the house of Judah and those who lived in Judah. Nineteen. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what he said shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speaks, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Now this is referring to Apostles written to the elect and the very elect who would during that time be, be persecuted for their faith by 
the apostate house of Judah and the Pharisees and Sadducees who propagate the, the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees who propagate the apostasy of that time they'd be persecuted and those who would and those who would be persecuted by the Roman Roman Empire and the Holy Spirit would speak through them boldly not premeditating what they say not premeditating what they shall say or do but the Holy Spirit at that time would give them the boldness to speak the testimony of the truth so in essence what Jesus Christ is speaking that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the Spirit is Spirit. Be not anxious. How or what ye shall speak for it should be given you in that same hour what you shall speak verse 20 for it is not ye that speak but the Holy Spirit himself who speaks speaks the spirit the spirit in the self of your father which speaketh in you on three six Don't try to pre-think or out-think the Holy Spirit. His message may not be what you might think. Let it not be you speaking, but the Spirit. Let the voice be born of the Spirit and not the flesh. John 4.27 God is spirit and his worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. Romans 8.16 The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are children of God. We hear the we hear the voice of the Spirit, we hear the voice of the Spirit of God in the Spirit. As we grow in genuine biblical spirituality, we attune ourselves to hear the Holy Spirit's voice more precisely. John 15:26 when the counselor comes whom I will send